living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you but that Chuma, please, you cannot leave me My life will be meaningless without you in it On the contrary, you will be happier with my absence Come to think of it, you have always been angry while we were living together I have been a stupid man I'm a very senseless man I thought hitting a woman was the only way to make her submissive and we make my marriage last. My friends warned me but I didn't listen. I'm glad you didn't listen because maybe that would have made me stay married with a man who never loved me from the beginning. Please honey, don't say that. You are breaking my heart. You know I love you so much. Yes, I acted like an animal but I love you with the whole of my heart. You love me with the whole of your heart? Yes, my love. Good. I am going to ask you a few questions and your answer will determine if I would stay or leave. Ask me anything, my love. Good. Do you love yourself? Yes, I love myself. Do you love your mother? Of course, I love my mother. Do you love your friends, Mayo and Jimmy? What are the point of these questions? What has it got to do with us? Please answer my question. Yes, I love my friends. Good. Do you have misunderstandings with these people you love? Yes, I do. Humans are bound to misunderstand each other. Do you make mistakes? Baby, please now. Ifani, do you make mistakes? I do all the time. Treating you the way I did is the biggest mistake of my life and I'm sorry. When you make mistakes, do you inflict physical pain on yourself? Do you get angry enough to bring harm on yourself? Babe, please. Answer me, Ifani. No, I don't. When you have issues with your mother or your friends, do you resolve it by hitting them or do you take out your anger by beating and inflicting injuries on them? No, I don't. I guess you know the conclusion already. You don't love me and you don't value me. I do, Choma. I do. Please, I beg you, don't leave me. Are you forgetting that I can't get pregnant and your mother needs grandchildren to play with? I don't care about what my mother wants, baby. All I want is that you stay. Let's renew our vows. I'm ready. I'm willing to do anything you want to make this marriage work. Please, my love. I will have to think about it if I... I need time to myself. I need time to heal. Until then, I wish you all the best. So how is Jimmy's mom doing? I hope she's okay. Thankfully she is. I spoke with Jimmy yesterday. You will not believe what those people did. They tampered with our sleeping meds. Added marijuana to it. Oh my goodness. You can't be serious. Marijuana? Where did they get it from? Isn't that supposed to be illegal? It is illegal. I don't know what Jimmy got married to, but that is not my wife. She doesn't even qualify as a human being. Were you planning to kill that woman? What would she have gained by killing her mother-in-law? Jimmy should sue them for attempted murder. It's our word against theirs. There's no concrete evidence to prove they did it. If he reports it, his mother could get implicated for possession of illegal drugs and end up in jail. Chai, human beings are terrible. Though. May God not let us fall into the hands of the wicked. That's why you and I should get married. Uncle Mayo, or is it Brian Mayo? Yes, Sister Tolu. How did marriage get into this conversation now, eh? I told you I will not let you go until you say yes to me. I can't wait to start making making all the right decisions with you by my side. I love you so much. Okay, let's try it and see if it works. Is that a yes? It is a maybe. Sarah, I heard you and your mother added illegal drugs to my medication, which almost killed me. Hmm. I know I have neither offended you nor your mother. I was on my own. When you people said I should come and spend time here with you. It is all good. Everyone will reap what they sow. This is my fault, mom. I should have never asked you to come live in the same house with these devils. I almost lost you. I'm so sorry. Yes, it is your fault. This is what you get when you throw away a gem while pushing rocks. I wish you all the best.
What a drama queen. Good readings. Mom, you should leave too. Sarah, you are asking me to leave your house. Really? It is me, your mother. Yes, mom, I want you to leave. You want me to be miserable like you, jumping from one man to another. Isn't that what you came to destroy my home? You must be very stupid for the nonsense you just vomited from your man. Mom, you slapped me. And I'm going to slap you again if you don't get your ass together. Where is you the one who sought my help in getting rid of your mother-in-law? Did I ask you to kill her? Did she die? Isn't she alive and went back to her house? Wasn't that what you wanted? I told you to help me get rid of her and I also told you not to do anything that would harm her. How could you mix up a drug with Marajuna? Shut up your mouth. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know what you are talking about. I will leave your house and I'm cutting all ties with you. You are a disgraceful child and an ingrate. I already did that. Leave already. I don't want a mother as a mother. You have always been an irresponsible mother anyway. I never learned anything good from you because you never ever done anything good. Sarah, don't worry. You will regret all these things you have vomited carelessly. You wish I will. Please pack your things and leave right now. I don't need you. I've been getting kinda used to Living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you But that would be Please Jimmy, I never meant for that to happen Please don't leave me Forgive me, I swear I'll be the perfect wife you always wanted Sira, I have forgiven you But it is over between us I am accepting everything you have done to me As a recompense of how I treated Rebecca in the past like my mother said, I lost a gem pursuing rocks. But anyways, I've learned my lesson the hard way. Please Jimmy, I love you and I know you love me too. Please give us one more chance. Love? You say love? I used to love you, not anymore. But I wasn't the one that did that to your mother. It was my mom. I knew nothing about it. Why are you pushing me for an offense I did not commit? An offense you didn't commit? Didn't you bring your mother here for that evil purpose? You frustrated me pushed me to my limits all because i love you you and your mother connived and ended up almost sending my mother to an early grave but god shame the two of you please leave my leg i have somewhere to go you can enjoy living in the house alone if you go i will kill myself <laughs> you sarah kill yourself you and i know you are too selfish to do that to yourself i am not kidding if you leave me i will kill myself and my blood will be on you be my guest have a good life or death rather Living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you But that would be untrue I know I'm being kind of mean But I learned all that from you Don't wanna go back